Welcome to the Magical World of Disney. This famous TV series started in 1954 and has been entertaining people for a long time with its fun stories and favorite characters. But did you know there are many interesting and sometimes surprising things that happen behind the scenes? Keep watching to find out. Do you have any favorite parts of the show or maybe some interesting facts you know about it? Share them with us in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories and memories. So get comfy and joy and let's explore the magical world of Disney together. There might be some things that surprise you. The TV show, once called Walt Disney Presents and later Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color, is a fond memory for many people. It showcased colorful footage of nature like flowers, butterflies, and national parks, along with entertaining animations featuring beloved characters like Donald Duck. The live-action parts introduce characters like Davy Crockett, the Swamp Fox, and the Scarecrow launching or changing actors' careers. Fess Parker became a star as Davy Crockett, Buddy Abson found success on TV, and Leslie Nielsen's role led to diverse roles in adventure genres. Patrick McGuhan's role as the Scarecrow made him a charismatic and mysterious figure, setting the stage for his later famous roles. The show went beyond TV, influencing ratings and earning a place among IMDb's all-time favorites. In short, the magical world of Disney shows the creativity of its creators, leaving a lasting impression on viewers and shaping the careers of many actors. The person who created the magical world of Disney also served in the special services during World War II. He's known for being the son-in-law of character actor Paul Fix. He had a chance to act in Problem Child, but he said no because he was already committed to tango and cash. The magical world of Disney started in 1954 and became a big deal on TV. The creator's experience in the war and his family ties made his background interesting. Turning down the role in Problem Child showed he was busy with other projects. The show was famous for its variety and for being family friendly. It had a big influence on TV in its early days and left a lasting impression on popular culture. The TV show The Magical World of Disney started in 1954, marking a big moment in American entertainment history. Even though the show isn't directly connected to the facts mentioned, it's important to know its background. The actor linked to the facts almost played Alan Grant in Jurassic Park, but asked for too much money, so Sam Neill got the part instead. He's been in three movies recognized by the Library of Congress for being important One-Eyed Jacks, Dr. Strange Love, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying, and Love the Bomb and Blazing Saddles. For his work in entertainment, he got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 65041 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California on December 9, 1988. In short, his work goes beyond just the magical world of Disney, touching classic movies, cultural importance, and Hollywood fame. The Magical World of Disney, a famous TV show that began in 1954, has an interesting backstory. It all started with a member of the 1937 Alabama Crimson Tide football team who later became an actor. He got a role in Frank Capra's movie, You Can't Take It With You, because he was good at playing the xylophone. He was active in democratic politics for most of his life, but switched to the Republican Party in the 1980s when Ronald Reagan was president. He made a big impact on movies, producing 16 films that were added to the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. One of these was Steamboat Willie, a famous animation featuring a well-known character. He also directed Steamboat Willie. The magical world of Disney has a rich history thanks to its creator's varied talents, from football to filmmaking. The actor enjoyed his time, even though he got hurt while working on another show. He really liked his role in the magical world of Disney. He was part of a group called the Wednesday Morning Club in Hollywood, where he introduced Newt Gingrich as a speaker in 1999. Besides acting, he loved astronomy as a hobby and was really into classical music, always reading and listening to it. Overall, he was well known not just for acting, but also for his wide range of interests and what he did in different parts of his life. The magical world of Disney started in 1954, showing many favorite stories and characters to people everywhere. It became very popular on American TV. Disney's last words before he died from lung cancer were Kurt Russell, written on a paper. This showed how much Disney was connected to the entertainment world. Disney was also known for inventing the multiplane camera, which changed how animation worked. He got recognized for this after he died. Besides his work, Disney had important family connections. He was related to Aaron Bartlett, Rut Hahn, Laura Hahn, Patty Hahn, David Bersneeks, and Chris Robinson. 
People all over the world still love the magical world of Disney, showing how much Disney meant to entertainment and innovation. The Magical World of Disney, which aired in 1954, featured a range of notable talents. One such talent was an actor who reprised his role of Otis Campbell, Maybury's Town Drunk, on The Andy Griffith Show in 1960 for country singer Alan Jackson's 1991 video, Don't Rock the Jukebox. He is also recognized as a card-carrying member of the NRA. Interestingly, he was initially slated to star as John Nada in They Live in 1988. However, director John Carpenter opted to cast someone else, feeling it was time for a change after working with him on three previous films. It's intriguing how this actor's career intersected with various projects, showcasing his versatility and presence in the entertainment industry. Premiering in 1954, The Magical World of Disney quickly won over viewers, becoming a beloved TV series. This enchanting show received a Disney Legend Award on October 9, 2006, earning a special place in the hearts of fans worldwide. The talented individual behind its success was also connected to Carol Christensen as her former brother-in-law, adding a personal touch to his story. In a memorable episode titled The Traitor, aired on December 13, 1961, he left a lasting impression with his portrayal of a character using a bullwhip. The scene, where he gives 20 lashes to Robert Horton's character, showcases his acting skills and the compelling storytelling that the magical world of Disney was known for. Throughout his career, he showed dedication to his craft, leaving a lasting impression on the entertainment industry. His talent and the show's enduring popularity have solidified his place as a key figure in Disney's magical world. The Disney Legend Award recognizes his outstanding contributions to the magical world of Disney's enchanting legacy. In Disney's history, his role in shaping the show's narrative remains significant, demonstrating skill and dedication. As we remember the magic he brought to the screen, let's appreciate the timeless moments he shared with audiences worldwide. The stories, characters, and enchantment he helped create will continue to endure, a tribute to the lasting impact of the magical world of Disney. In the end, we celebrate not just a TV show, but the collective magic of creativity, storytelling, and the remarkable individual who made it all possible. The magical world of Disney will always be a cherished part of our cultural heritage, and its story is beautifully. The Magical World of Disney, a TV series that started in 1954, has some interesting stories connected to its history. One story involves a voice actor, Thurl Ravenscroft, who some people thought was one of the singing busts on the Haunted Mansion ride in Disney parks. Ravenscroft, known for his voice work in cartoons, wasn't actually part of the ride, which was built after Walt Disney died in 1966. In another case, the show was linked to the casting of Cable in Deadpool 2. The role was initially thought about for the show, but eventually Josh Brolin got the part. This shows how the magical world of Disney can have an influence even beyond its original episodes. Additionally, the show has an interesting connection to history. After the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, an army draft notice meant for Donald Duck was sent to the Disney Studios, showing how fiction and reality can mix during wartime. These stories give us a peek into different aspects of the show's history, from voice actors to casting decisions and even wartime events. Each story adds something special to the show's story, making it more than just a TV series. 